Certification is inspection. Certification means fixed and repaired. Certification is uh, uh, it's a better car, and we also happen to provide them a warranty. Jay, what's the warranty we provide with our Motor Trend certified vehicles? Uh, six months, 75. <laughs> yeah, 7,500 miles. Okay. Uh, what's covered? The wheels. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the mechanical warranty. The powertrain warranty, is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about? Is it a power? Is it just a powertrain warranty? No, it's for the powertrain benefit. I can't answer that to give you. A... Mike, what is it? Uh, it covers engine, transmission, drive axle, air conditioning, brake system, brake system, electrical system, pretty much. Steering system, cooling system, seals and gaskets. Well, uh, and that's pretty much engine. It's it's a, it's a comprehensive right. limited warranty. Dennis, what's consumer? What's the consumer uh, consumer opinion of dealer provided used car warranties? The consumer's opinion that it doesn't cover a whole lot. Um, and I think that's exactly right. They think they're crap. Why is that, Dustin? Well, the reason why they think it's crap is because. Uh, they don't know the value of certain items that are not covered. Um, they think it only covers a certain amount of vehicle, uh, the vehicles. Because in the past, they've had stuff that wrong with the vehicle and it was never covered. So they feel that way now. Uh, that people are, dealerships are offering stuff that never go wrong in their warranties. So that's, that's how they kind of feel. Dennis, the reason people think dealer-provided used car warranties are crap is because most of them are. I work in New Jersey and I work in Illinois. In those two states, um, by law, the dealer has to supply a used car customer, I think if it's five years old or newer, uh, 80,000 miles or less, by law, they have to provide the customer a warranty. If they have to provide the customer warranty, what kind of warranties do you think they're providing? Very low. Cheapest they can the cheapest they can find. One month, 1,000 miles, powertrain only, internally lubricated parts. That's it. Some of them are 50% deductibles. Which means if the engine does blow in the first 1,000 miles, and it's a $6,000 repair, all the customer has to pay for is $3,000, plus taxes, plus fluids. Most of them are crap. Most of them are crap. So, if all we do is tell the customer we've got a warranty on our Motor Trend certified vehicles, is there a chance the customer might lump that warranty into the category of crappy warranties based on his or her past history? Exactly. That's why you were given these. You need to go through this with the customer. You don't need to go through every single <coughs> item. Unless the customer wants to go through every single item. But you need to say, look, it, yeah, it covers the powertrain, but that's not all. Why is it important that it covers seals and gaskets, Dustin? Because that's a big part of value. I mean, that's expensive also. Um, and it's also the most, they're, they're most likely things to fail. Yeah. What's it cost to replace two head gaskets and a rear main seal on a Honda Accord? $1,500. How'd you know that? I had my shop for six years. Okay. Um, if, if so, if a dealer gives a customer a used car warranty and they got a seal or gasket that blows, and they come in and they have a warranty and they expect it to be covered, and then when they pick up the car, the cashier hands them a bill for fifteen hundred bucks. What sort of opinion do you think they're you think they're going to have of a used car warranty? They're going to think it's crap.